SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we got updates out of US Mobile. These are pretty big. Big for consumers, and I would say pretty big for the industry too. Let me tell you what's going on and let me explain what in the world is Dark Star by US Mobile. All right, a link for the webpage for US Mobile, the landing page. I'll provide that link is in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if it's your first time here and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks, here we go. A pretty busy MVNO carrier, pretty innovative in my estimation. I think one of the best in the industry. I want to say uh, they're creating ways to offer consumer choice, to offer consumer value. And to me, I think those are the most important things that you got to do to differentiate yourself as a company. So they're doing a nice job of that. Uh, they're doing number transfers, the transfer portal that was in the news recently. Uh, they're, they're offering, you know, new structure to plans, offering different types of additional values, things of that nature. But probably what's most important besides probably that teleportal tool, which is pretty big for the industry, is this. And that is the Dark Star. Now, this is pretty interesting. They use this choice of words. Dark Star. We have always called AT&T Death Star. They probably don't want to call it that uh, <laughs> on a formal uh, advertising, uh, you know, on their web page or whatever. But they're calling it Dark Star, at least uh, in beta. I don't know what the final name will be called. But we'll see if that changes. But I look, this is big. So now U.S. Mobile officially is going to support all three carriers. You can get Verizon Access, you can get T-Mobile Access, you can now get AT&T Access. Now, specifically, there's a little bit uh, to kind of, we got to wait for. Uh, one of the things is you can't get the access just yet, uh, but they have been testing the AT&T Access internally. And uh, I guess they're looking for beta testers. People have reached out and, you know, they've assigned some access to them. Kind of see how it goes. Probably the onboarding process and then the actual usage. Now, what I found kind of interesting is and and i'll be sure to provide a link for this if you guys want to sign up for early access or whatever uh they were testing it on qci 9 and for those of you that don't know what qcis are i've got a whole playlist for qcis to understand how this goes basically the lower the number qci network access you have the higher the priority on the network right so think about it like first place finish right versus the best and there's second and those sorts of things so QCI 9 is the traditional prepaid location of QCI. Uh, so whether it's MVNO or it's or it's a just you know cricket or whatever, right? QCI 9. That's how AT&T does it. Now it looks like that QCI 9 server seemed to be fine uh, in beta testing or in internal testing. They were able to locate some congestion. I'm guessing that's places where it's LT network access without any type of 5G plus. You know the the C band. Or DOD build for AT&T, so that could be an issue. But it looks like they're going to find a way to provide customers the additional way to get QCI 8 access, which puts you on like more traditional postpaid, right? So like if you had like real actual AT&T access, uh, but they're saying that will come at a cost somewhere between 10 to 15 bucks, uh, and it's possible that number could change. Who knows? Maybe they can negotiate a cheaper price. Maybe it comes in slightly higher. But anyways, that's kind of what we know currently about dark star access from us mobile dark star access is at&t network access and i think um we'll continue to follow this we'll see how the beta testing goes we'll see if we can get some feedback from folks uh anything of updates from us mobile themselves i know a lot of people are interested in this because maybe Verizon isn't the greatest. Maybe they're, they've been slow to upgrade. Maybe T-Mobile coverage is spotty. You know, those are some of the things we see. But this brings a new option into the fold. And I will tell you guys, in the state of Ohio, I mean, AT&T network is really, really hard to beat. So uh, definitely, you know, check out this option if you're in the, the market for it. Or if you've been following along to the story, we'll offer more updates when we get them. More videos to come. Anyways, comment down below on all of this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.